to me this fly. And it belongs in uh, a group of flies like the egg, the egg fly, or the um, the San Juan worm, yeah. or the squirt no me won't no won't no won't no me. You know those ugly flies that you don't like to tie, but they work like shit. Yeah. And, you know, so this fly is called the mop fly and probably the hardest part of the mop fly is acquiring the pivot team so the mop fly is tied with a tail of these little uh, chenille type of worms. And what it is, I'll take one apart. What it is is actually a furled length of chenille. <laughs> so it's got four threads in the core, like chenille, like normal chenille has two threads, eh? This has four. So what they do, so there's my four strands. So what they do is they take, so there's a, a length of chenille. And when it's furled, it goes like that. So it's a doubled length of furled chenille. So the end is never exposed. It's so never it's an straight, end. Right. If it was tied in like that, then it would start to fall apart. But when it's tied in like that, it becomes pretty tough. So, where do you get these little worms? So, about half of that bag, and they sell them by the little bag full, like a time store shop supply, you know those little little bags. You get like 14 or so in a a, a little bag for like three or four bucks. That's US. I have no idea how much they are here. I think there's only one store uh, downtown that has, has them. Perhaps uh, he'll hands them, I'm not sure. But you get 15 of the, these, which is about, about that much, for three or four bucks. There's a guy online in the States, that's all he sells. Every color, every shade, every... 14 or 15 in, in, in the bag. However, where they actually came from in the first place was the dollar store. So you go to the dollar store and <laughs> <laughs> that, ladies and gentlemen, is a princely sum of fifteen dollars worth at the dollar store. You got ripped. Yeah. <laughs> no kidding. Where are you coming? <laughs> so, what they are is mop heads. 
<laughs> and they come. I haven't seen it. I haven't read one. Mop heads, mop gloves. Yeah, yeah. Nice week. Nice week. Nice week. What else? <laughs> Fish mops. Oh, yeah. Or is that a to toilet mop? I'm not too sure. Close enough. One <laughs> <yeah. laughs> Blue. Oh, <laughs> Now we're cooking with yeah. gas, eh? Hey? Purple! Now you're poking up. Lighter blue. Nice light blue. A doctor, a silver doctor blue. Silver doctor blue. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, Cerise. Cerise, yes. Or magenta, I'm not sure. And I was really pissed off that I had to pay two dollars for this little mop of gray. But all of these were around two two to three dollars a piece. Is that it? Yeah. So once I bought all of this I was in the Bed Bath and <coughs> Beyond store. <laughs> Not looking for a light bulb for my old uh, tube lamp. I didn't find the light bulb, but I found bath mats. Black, white, beige, cream, brown. $20 a piece. Yeah. And they stayed there. They're a bath mat size. Yeah. I mean, you've got. Oh, you bought, bought some, Jim? We, uh, Ken and I found a white, white one in the mop size at Princess Auto. And you oh, Princess Auto! Oh, 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 I'm, I'm shopping tomorrow. <laughs> There's one at the Bridge store. <laughs> Great There's one not, not, not too far from um, this. All right. Nice to know that, because I thought, what the hell am I going to do with a two by three foot? <laughs> by math, math, uh, uh, this stuff, you know. So in, in any way, though, there's a bit of a trick to get these on the hook. So the hook I'm tying this on may not be known to you <coughs> so much it is so I'm gonna tie it on a number eight because yeah. they didn't have any smaller ones in this is a dohiko a dohiku oh god D, sorry, uh, D O H I K U. Um, and it is a jig hook. <clears throat> Barbless, completely no barb. Sans barb. And it looks like that. So this we is, a yeah, this is a, a a type J. But you can tie them on a normal limp hook, a LV standard length, straight shank with the not on the line hook. Except it won't, it won't turn up. I don't suppose. I'm not sure. So. I'll put a gold bead on it. Five thirty six Ankin and gold bead. Okay. So the bead. 
sits down, the whole idea is it will turn like that. You could get this, the, the tungsten Fine. beads with the slot in them as well. Slotted beads. Slotted beads. Slots? Slotted yeah. beads that will fit on them as well. Yeah. Is that right? Yep. Oh. Yeah, the price will increase. Shop. More money, eh? Oh, mm -hmm. more money, less. Oh, it's only money. About eight of them in the past. Okay. You Wait. take one of your little worms. Now, you don't want the tail too long. Most people tie, or a lot, a lot of people, I shouldn't say most, a lot of people tie these on like about there and then this tends to go up and at some point through your casting it does that which is not what want you want so to avoid that I've gone back to my um, youth when I used to thread worms on, on, on a hook and I can hear them screaming <laughs> for sure <laughs> not for me <laughs> of course not much okay so expose all the the uh, the four threads as my four threads Okay, so you hold the butt end up. Lower, lower, lower. Lower, lower. Yeah. That's better. To you, then. You put the hook. Now, you can feel with your finger and your thumb where the point is. Okay. Oh, that's good. Always has it. So you get it threaded on through the middle of the worm and you pull it up or out, the hook point out and now you have it sort of buried in the middle. Okay, so at this point Would you sometimes add just a strip of lead to the top to add a keel to it? Um, you can add lead too, yeah. I'm not sure if it's uh, entirely necessary. Because one, once these things are wet, they go all down like a stone. Now the what I found is it's best to get a fairly good thread base on there. And I just do that. You can either dub a head on at this point, or uh, you can do uh, fur and a hang ankle. You can do b both in a, 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 another one. Again, a tuft of muskrat. Loop. Close the loop off. This is the new fly now. 
Okay. This is the new fly now. Whole new pattern now, yep. Yeah. The, the, does anyone have those clips? The two flies I sent with them. No. No, it's okay, I'll 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 use this thing. So you slide the fur up so that the guard has a rub. Oh, thank you. I just need the clip of the fly, you see. And you just tease the hair out so that it's in a longish line. Sorry, Bob. It's okay. And leave the beat off, you can probably catch uh, Atlantic salmon with them. Yeah, that's true. That would freak out the Atlantic salmon guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, the, the guides would go ape. Oh, yeah. So there it is. That's the mop fly in all yeah, it's its... It's the casual mop. Yeah. <laughs> 